In today's video, we are fixing a massive mistake and opening every legendary collection ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another epic every opening. We're opening every legendary collection game board ever made. I've done this once before, but I made a bit of a mistake. I completely forgot to open Legendary Collection Kaiba. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. I noticed it afterwards. We did a little bit of a follow-up video opening Kaiba again later, but I never actually opened all six of them at once again. So now we're doing it today. Here's one we forgot, the newest one, the Legendary Collection Kaiba. We're gonna do these one at a time. It's gonna be a battle between all six Legendary Collections. There will be a total from each one. Let me know in the comments for the giveaway which Legendary Collection will have the most value pulled. And the giveaway for this video will be every promo pack from each of these. So there'll be six different promo packs you can win. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know which one is going to win. This video is sponsored by Factor. Get fresh, never frozen meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with Factor. Prepping meals can be stressful. It's not only time consuming, but it can also be expensive. If you're trying to follow a keto, low calorie, vegan, or vegetarian lifestyle, it can be really expensive, and it's also really stressful to try to figure out what follows your diet and what doesn't. You can cut out all of that extensive meal planning and stressful prepping with Factor. Meals come together in minutes and there's no guesswork on what you actually need to be eating. If you're like me and you want to occasionally actually eat a meal that's not extremely unhealthy for you, this is the way to go. And not only is it healthy, but you actually get to eat a meal quickly and there's no mess. Factor's meals arrive pre-prepared and they're ready in two minutes or less. That's even faster than ordering in. The fast prep time, easy cleanup, and healthy options really makes it a great deal for me because that's all the things that I'm looking to do because I'm such a busy person. I know a lot of you guys are as well. Factor makes it so much easier because I can grab a smoothie, grab a meal, and continue with my work day in the middle of the day and not have to worry about prepping. If this sounds like something you're interested in and you want to support the channel, use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code pogruxinmar 50 for 50% off your first box. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. All right, let's start with Legendary Collection Kaiba. This one was released in 2018, by far the newest one. So the other ones were much earlier, like early 2010s and stuff like that. They made one of these. It's at this point four years old, which is pretty old actually, but I was actually back in Yu-Gi-Oh when this came out. It was one of the first products that I bought. Not one of the first, but it was early on in the first year. This is a pretty great one because it has like an Ash Blossom potential secret rare. There's a lot of really good stuff. There's only three packs inside, but you get like four different secret rares. They've, I don't I don't think they've ever done this setup of a pack like four secret six ultras again this is like the only time so we have the legendary collection kaiba promo it's probably worth about five bucks something like that those aren't too crazy some are definitely better like the yugi's world ones here we go let's go to kaiba let's see what we can pull so i think it's two secrets on the front two secrets on the back so i'm gonna do that to a little oh a blue eyes right off the bat and that's a good sign blue eyes white dragon very first card we've pulled heavy mech support platform exile the wicked that's a reprint from tp3 the fang acritius legend the mystical genie lamp maybe tp2 actually on that other one legend very cool oh rux and special plus the eradicator epidemic virus actually kind of a crazy card with labyrinth i'm gonna pull that out for my deck beacon of white that's a secret rare nice return of the dragon war Lord of the lords this actually does have an unlimited print i believe but these are like four or five bucks that's really good a assault core another secret rare and the king of d man that's pretty solid first pack i'm not gonna lie that is a very strong start for kaiba if you voted for kaiba having the best value then it's looking nice i'm i'm not surprised they didn't do this setup again because three packs is a little bit boring Boring. I mean, it's kind of like a 10, but it costs a lot more. I did that wrong. That's the Sage with Eyes of Blue. Wait, wait, wait. I put the secret to the front to the, instead of to the back, but we'll keep the Sage because we already saw it. This is like an $8 card a lot of the time, so that's a great card to pull. We've got a Full Force Virus. Another one that's not terrible with Labyrinth. Pretty cool. Y Dragon Head. Deck Devastation Virus. Crazy card. Cloning. Giant Red Sea Snake. That's a TP2 reprint as well. Dragoonity Elysionaire. The Dragoonity, one of the most highly printed archetypes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh!, cost down secret rare, weird one but it's there azure eyes silver dragon for those blue eyes decks and ancient rules for those blue eyes decks okay next up our last first ed. these are first ed too these legendary collection kaibas that's not bad we'll take that a lot of these are unlimited that we're opening because a lot of them didn't even get a first ed print so you know that they, they, they just went with the unlimited or they didn't get an unlimited print i should say doom virus so i guess they're man you know what i mean phalanx dragoonity duck speaking of the devil more dragoonity tyrant burst dd crow I just had another Ultra reprint, so that's probably not as valuable anymore. We have the W Wing Catapult. Cost down again, not great. Dragon Shrine, not terrible. Dark Arm Dragon, that one's worth a few bucks. And 
Defusion, not a great one either, but a hey, Dark Arm Dragon's worth about four bucks. That's pretty solid. So here is your Legendary Collection Kaiba total. Let's move on to the next one. Our next Legendary Collection is actually Legendary Collection 5Ds if we're going in reverse chronological order. Surprisingly, this is one of the hardest ones to find, but it came out in 2014. The reason it's the hardest to find or one of the hardest to find is because they've never reprinted it that I know of. They've reprinted like Legendary Collection 1 a million times. Legendary Collection 2 was in 2018, 2019. They reprinted it. 3, they reprinted it in 2017 or 18. So they were everywhere. So you see all of those a lot, but you don't really see this one. And then of course, Kaiba, you know, it was so new that they haven't had to reprint it. It's still pretty available. Available. Okay, so we have our promo pack. Another one that I don't think is too great, but we'll have to look it up and see how much it is. Uh, that's also in the giveaway. Then we have five packs, like the normal mega packs. 2014, first edition. They never had the unlimited that I know of, so I'm pretty sure that this is normal. This one is more like a regular legendary collection, like mega pack kind of thing where you get like a super. Ancient Fairy Dragon might actually be money, uh, even though it's not the Arana version. We have the Exploder Dragon Wing, Magic Planner Ultra Rare, Oh, Rux and Special, Pass the TG Warwolf, TG Seeker Rare. There's some weird weird cards that are worth a lot. I don't know if TG Warwolf is one of them. Oh wait, this is a super rare Scarlet Security. Almost didn't notice that. Destroy all spell and trap cards. If you control a Red Dragon Archfiend, that seems unlikely. All right, next pack. Let's see. I mean, Kaiba put up an okay performance. They had some good pulls. They didn't pull like a uh, Ash Blossom or anything, but they pulled some good stuff. RDA's in there. They look, you can use that spell card. Flare, Resonator, Steam Synchron. Blackwing, sure, the Blue Flame. I think that's actually a really good one for the Blackwing decks. That's a great pull. We'll take that. TG1 EM1 Secret Rare and a Majestic Star Super. That seems like a great pack, actually. Put a lot of good stuff. Majestic Dragon used to be really hard to get. I don't know if it's worth anything, but could be. Three packs left from Legendary Collection 5Ds. Pretty nice. It's always fun to open these up. They're pretty expensive, like 200 bucks for these. Uh, yeah, we usually don't get our money back, but they do have some good stuff inside. Odin's Eye, Rose Tentacles, Naturia Barkian. Almost looks like the Ghost Rare. I think this the natural artwork of this looks like a Ghost Rare with such a clear background. And then Odin, father of the Acer secret, not the ghost rare. We have pulled that before, by the way. And then the Junk Warrior, super rare as well. If he wasn't in a starter deck, that would probably be worth money. But Livestream Dragon, I wonder if that's money because it's a uh, Signer Dragon, right? So maybe it is. Two packs to go. Seems like we've done decent. This is one that I always like never know if I'm doing good. And then I go back and see the edit and there's like a million nice cards. Like Dark Strike Fighter could be good because that was crazy for a while. The Exploder Dragon Wing, Rosaria Ultra Rare, Armory Arm Secret Rare. Now that's awesome. I think that's the highest rarity of that card. And then go. Yo, these are awesome. I mean, it's 5Ds, but you know, for uh, Edison, these are great, which is it's 5Ds era, basically, but Vice Dragon's cool as well. Last pack, Armory Arm is probably a massive pull. I'm assuming that's like 15 to $20, just on my guess, you know, because there's not a lot of high rarity of that card. Creator Resonator, it's also kind of hard to find. We got the Earthbound Whirlwind Rare. We have, oh, a Maxi Ultra Rare. I didn't realize this was in here. Maxi, that is insane. That's gotta be money. And then a Thor, Lord of the Acer, Secret Rare, and Scarlet Security. They really want us to use Red Dragon Archfiend. That's interesting, but wow. Wait, I think I need this card. I need this card for my extra deck, one of my Edison decks. This is uh, actually nice, because that's like kind of hard to find. It's like Secret Rare in the Duel's Genesis, I think. That 5Ds is pretty insane. Here's the score now. They've got to be beating Kaiba, right? I say that, I'm always wrong about guessing the totals, but that was a good pack. We're only like 33% of the way in because we have Legendary Collection for Joey's World. This amazes me that this came out in 2013. And they definitely did a rewave at some point. And the weird part is I'm pretty sure they never did Unlimited. So these were just like available everywhere randomly in first edition, like in 2018. I don't know why. I used to buy these from like Target and stuff. So or maybe maybe it was online. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was the Yuki's World. I don't know. All right, we have the Blue Flame Swordsman. I think this is like a $15 promo pack. So this is big in terms of the value for the giveaway. Then we have our five normal packs. Let's try and get something amazing. It's, I mean, that 5D has put up a great performance. Getting a maxi, that's, I mean, Ultra Rare is probably big money. I don't exactly know. Sangha for the new support. Very nice. You love to see it. Black Stego. Oh, Rux and Special. Pass the Chain Destruction. Harpy Spat Dragon. That's going to be decent. Ooh, a Raigeki Secret Rare. This used to be one of the best cards in the set, like 30 bucks, and it got a bunch more reprints, but still not bad. Call the Mummy Super and Sword Arm of Dragon. This is such a classic. This Jurassic Juggernaut has spine covered in sword-like plates and a tail to split open skulls. This is such a classic. Sword Arm of Dragon. I love that card. I just love the name, Sword Arm of Dragon. It's just cool. Okay, four packs to go. That's a good start. We got a decent, decent pull there. Let's see if we can keep it going with Joe. We still got three more after this. Why? There's always one when I can't open it. We have have the Tyranno Infinity made a Duel Links profile one time. 
Crawling Dragon number two. Oh, Rux is special again. Red Eye Zombie Dragon, not bad. Horn of Heaven, you never want to pull that from Metal Raiders. And oh, Darkness Metal Dragon, the Red Eyes. And a Polymerization, that was a good pack. Uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon is a great card. And then Metal Zoa, Whew, man, these are good packs, man. I love opening Legendary Collections. It's just so fun, man. So many good cards. And the sets are so big, you like never pull the same stuff. Like there's just so many different things to pull. I mean, I won't say you never pull the same stuff, but there's so many options of what you could pull. Amazon of Scouts. Rocket Warrior, let's go Summon Skull Rare. Book of Life, great for zombie decks. And uh, Gateway to Dark World, could be good with the new Dark World stuff. And Baby Dragon, I remember it's like two bucks, which is really funny because it's a hollow Baby Dragon. It's classic from the anime. Two packs to go, Legendary Collection for Joey's World. Yeah, this Redemption is gonna be much better. It's gonna be much better because first of all, we've had great pulls. Second of all, redeeming our mistake. These are opening really weird, like they're, they're crazy. Okay, Plague Wolf. We got Beast of Talwar, trade in, good for those blue eyes and high, you know, high level decks. We've got the Pot of Avarice, secret. This is one of the best cards. That's beautiful. This has an ultimate rare as well, but that's still a really nice version. Harpy Lady one and Fairy's Hand Mirror. Wow, these are good packs, man. We're pulling so many good cards. Final pack, legendary collection for Joey's World. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because uh, guess what? You know, I'm gonna post more videos. <laughs> Everybody's restrained. Let's go, Maki Ura, that's uh, before the Errata. Shadow Tamer, Imperial Iron Wall Ultra Rare, very cool. Bottomless Trap Hole, also a nice secret rare. And a Hysteric Party, another good super. So that was a all around solid pack in all the foils. And now we have a fan favorite Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. So I think this one came out in 2012, if I'm correct. So I think they used to come out with these like almost every year. So they went from 2010 to 2014 releasing one, I believe. So pretty cool. I wish they would kind of bring this back, do another Legendary Collection because these are always really nice. They're just so fun to open. This, the setup of them is really good. Let's open this up. All right, we get our five packs and we get our Seal of Ori Calcos bonus pack. So this one's probably decent value uh, if you check eBay, but I'm not totally sure. Let's do five packs here uh, on exactly how much that would be. The five packs, Legendary Collection, Yugi's World, a lot of good ones. Dark Magician, Girl, Dark Paladin, and Exodia are all in here. Well, Rux and Special right off the bat. Contract with Dark Master. Oh yeah, by the way, we need to check out the totals if we didn't already of the other ones. Um, I'm assuming five D's is in the lead, but that was a solid Joey as well. Uh, Descendant is good. Mother Grizzly is not great. I mean, it's not a bad card, but it's just not very valuable. Shift, a very old school Pharaoh Servant. Super rare. I mean, it's just not a super then, but it is now. Guardian Chaos was there. Not a great start for Yugi's World, but they've got a lot of potential. The Dark Magician Girl is crazy. This is unlimited. First ad of this is just ridiculously expensive. Horus, that's a nice one. Level eight is like a $5 common, I think. Monster Reincarnation. We've got Red Gadget for those gadget guys. Buster Blader Secret. I haven't seen that in a long time. Long time legendary collection yugi's world reckless greed another nice one for old formats dark horse and earth chant so far not a fantastic yugi's world but hey it's an amazing amazing set there's a lot that could come out of it dark general freed sorcerer of dark magic Solid Magician level eight dark snake syndrome needle worm really cool we'll try this is about three bucks Harpy's Feather Duster. This is a great one because Harpy's Feather Duster is now unbanned. It is a limited to one. So it's a great card. You can use it in the current meta. It's still strong to this day because, you know, wiping back row, it's not as prevalent as it used to be for the back row stuff, but there are decks like Labyrinth and many others that use a lot. And then everything else uses a couple usually. So not bad. Pretty amazing to force them to use that back row. Mystic, let's go. Silent Swordsman level five. That's a Ruxin special past the draining shield. Dragon Capture Dar. Skull Servant, the Ultra. This is actually money. I know. You might be like, why? Because it's the high rarity of skull sermon it's amazing pot of green secret rare let's go and then a poly again man our pulls are crazy we haven't had a bad legendary collection yet i'm knock on wood don't end it here and the final pack legendary collection three yugi's world this has been crazy good man i can't believe how good these packs have been Spell Economics, love to see it. Dark General Freed, Dark Eyes Illusionist, Gravekeeper Spy, nice ultra rare there. And a Torrential Tribute, had it off with Amazing One. This looks awesome in secret. Chaos Orb, that's another awesome super rare. Wow, the value is crazy in these. This is the score right now, see who's winning. All right, Legendary Collection 2, Dual Academy Years. We've opened up quite a bit of these recently, but they're always fun. I love them, they're so much fun. So, Legendary Collection 2, let's see what we can get this time. So inside we will get our packs, which is five packs. Packs. as usual you guys will get your promo pack this is probably worth at least 10 bucks i don't actually know but i'd have to check uh but that will be added to their value as well so it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out all right if you guys are enjoying this video make sure to subscribe and check out a few other videos because we have some other epic stuff like this 
on the channel. Try to post. Well, we do post every single day. Check it out. Hero Mask, we have Crystal Beast, we have Diamond Dude, and an Alt Art Burstinatric. This is such a crazy opening, man. Argus the Lightsworn Druid, that's an Ultra Rare, not great there, but Gladiator Beast. Whew. Let's go. Five packs of Legendary Collection 2. Who will win this battle? It's definitely been intense. Ooh, almost spoiled it there. We have Wild Heart. We have, man, I can't grab this. We have Chamberlain, Six Samurai. Man, Rux is special again. Blast the Clear World I've pulled a million times. Dark Neos, that's awesome. Secret rare, love to see it. Uh, Light Lightsworn Paladin for Jane, okay, not bad. Necro Shade, that was not as great of a pack, but I was fumbling with it. It's okay, we're saving it for the next pack. Three packs left, Legendary Collection 2, come on. We've opened you many times, but can you bless us with an amazing pull? We have Avian, Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, Inferno Wing, and a Necro Garden of Secrets, not bad, and a Light in Dragon. I think that one just appears to be good, and it's not actually good, usually. Two more packs. So th this one might be the dud so far. I mean, we did get a Burst in a Tricks right off the bat, so honestly, that's pretty good. Uh, Malicious is a great card. Clock Tower Prison, Yaichi. Rampart Blaster is a couple bucks, basically any Elemental Hero Super. And a Dimensional Fissure. This is like the best card, I think. I think it's like 18 bucks. Insane, and a Neos Wiseman! That's the crazy ultra rare in the set. I never pull this one. This is the best card, actually. I think this is the best card. Or it's the second best card, it's one of them. That was a crazy pack. These two make up like almost $40 in value. Oh my goodness, that was like a $40 pack with the Rampart Blaster. Dude, it's anybody's game. This is insane. Anybody could win this. What an insane video. Make sure to subscribe. Let's go, Thunder Giant, Card Ejector, that's a super rare. Dandelion Secret Rare, that's beautiful. And a Chaos Neos. That's a pretty good pack as well. Wow. Oh, Emergency Call. I think it's a dollar over, or at least a dollar, I think. Wow. What? I'm speechless how good these are. And of course, we are ending it. By the way, Legendary Collection GX came out in 2011. I don't know if I mentioned that. The first ever Legendary Collection game board. This technically came out in 2013, but the binder came out in 2010. So like the original Legendary Collection. Same thing with Legendary Collection 2. It, it, the, uh, the game board came out later, but here we go. Final game board. We did not forget Kaiba this time. Every Legendary Collection game board edition ever made. Look, if we can continue our luck with these old school packs, we're going to be looking nice. So you guys will be able to win this obelisk pack as well. That's going to add a few dollars value to the Legendary Collection 01. Okay, guys, this is it. The final six packs. They have an extra pack, but they also have the disadvantage of not usually pulling anything out of these. It's not guaranteed secrets and stuff in these packs. Old school Dark Crisis, one, two, three, four, reprint edition. Let's pull something amazing. We have the Fairy of the Spring, Little Wingard, Vile Pawn Archfiend, Cyber Raider, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Drag Down Into the Grave. We have an Archfiend's Roar. Can we get that skill drain? We cannot, but can we get a foil? Here we go. Keldo. So look, hey, before they got retrained into the Ashizu stuff, you know, for tier, or at least with tier, uh, they were they were once here. No, not Invasion Chaos. Let's do uh let's do Spell Ruler next, I think. Spell Ruler. Can we get something amazing like Hungry Burger for the Hungry Burger support? One, two, three, four. Let's do that. I mean, that would be pretty epic. We have High Tide Hyojin, Peacock, Toll, Octoburser, Liquid Beast, Koto Dama, Fairy's Hand Mirror, Mega Ryuran, and a Guardian of the Throne Room. So it looks like maybe this will be our dud, the original Legendary Collection. Probably the most likely to be a dud for sure, because it's not guaranteed secrets and ultras and all that stuff, but it's been pretty amazing. Let's see what we can get here. Legendary Collection 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, Game Board Edition. Will you pull something amazing? First of all, Dark Bat, Overdrive, Three-Headed Guido, Solemn Wishes, Invitation to a Dark Sleep, Steel Ogre Grotto, number two, Harvey's Brother, Prohibition, I think that might be a couple bucks, and attack and receive so so far the first three packs are looking slim but all it takes is one amazing pack invasion of chaos you can do this for us i believe let's go come on get an amazing chaos of her dragon self-destruct button mind you used to be money i don't know if it's a dollar anymore fiend's hand mirror it's sad to say dna transplant the thing in the crater stealth bird great for burn blazing impachi sasuke samurai numero trace don't get to say that one very often and uh, a spirit of the pot of greed MRD, one, two, three, four, my favorite set, and I love opening it. Will we get a Pecanio Moth? Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Hunter Spider, Cocoon of Evolution, Pale Beast, Ruxin 34, Labyrinth Tank, for that Labyrinth Tank support coming out, Amazing Memories, by the time you see it, it's probably already out. Dream Clown, we have Mystic Horseman, Grande Moth, you love to see it, and will it be a Gate Guardian? No, it's a crass cloud. Oh no, we're ending with the dud of a legendary collection. 
Or are we? Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon will tell us. Here we go. What we pull? Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Exodia, Rageki, Polymerization. Anything amazing like that. Hard Armor. We have a Raised Body Heat. Fire Grass. Armored Starfish. The Water. That's Rooted. Imwear Numero Dos. Larvis. We have Cherubin the Fire Knight in our final card. What will it be? Will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? It, or Petit Dragon. It will be Petit Dragon. Okay, so the final Legendary Collection. I don't even know if they got a dollar on their pulls, but check out the total score. It was pretty amazing. There was a lot of really, really strong, you know, pulls there. Really, really good besides that last one. Hope you guys enjoyed this Redemption episode opening every Legendary Collection game board ever made. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DeAnda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bar Mimic Gecko and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.